topics, and we have a couple of tattoo topics this weekend. How do you feel about tattoo artists who duplicate someone else's work and don't give them credit? Well, that's bullshit. Well, that's not cool. Don't like it. Don't like it. No. What about if it's an apprentice? Do you think maybe he just doesn't know better? No, well, I mean, of course. Sometimes you have to learn the hard way, right? I think anything that you're going to reference, if it's from another artist, you should contact that artist personally, email or however, and, and get their permission. I don't think any artist should copy anybody's work, period. I mean, for some reason, it doesn't bother me, like somebody trying to duplicate some, something that I do, because I think it's a... Uh, in a way, they're like so inspired by, by what I'm doing that they, they want to duplicate it. it. It seems like influencing, yeah, like influencing the style and stuff to me. Uh, I mean, it's an honor, you know, like feels good. It's awful. <laughs> so, would you beat them up? Absolutely. No, you want it. You're a sweetheart. Oh, yeah. I'm sensitive. I forgot. Oh, that's just bullshit. Not okay. Some people don't know who the uh, real artists are, but the ones who do know normally give uh, a shout out. I mean, you could copy or duplicate somebody's work as long as you give them the correct the credit. credit for it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of artists influence different people, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool to be influenced. But stealing somebody else's design and ideas, I mean, it's a new day. Like, there's, there's so many different styles and so much that you can do, you know, on Photoshop and stuff like that. Still, somebody's artwork is, is wrong. I mean, you should definitely give credit to the to the original artist. You know what I mean? Definitely give uh, give them their respect and their uh, yeah. It's nice to do that. It's the polite thing to do. It is definitely the polite thing to do. I think an artist that comes out with an original piece, the artist should at least have the respect to get in contact with them and ask them if it's okay to do the piece, or when they're done with the piece, at least tag them on Instagram and say. The, uh, I mean, which artist's artwork was done by, I think it's a disrespect. There's tons of flash out there for that exact reason. You replicate what is okay to replicate, and you don't replicate custom shit. Like, if flash didn't exist, then learn to draw yourself or use Google like everybody else, but there's enough flash out there, and anyone who's teaching another artist should say, you don't fucking replicate what's already been done by people who spend hours drawing it. I would say, just create your own. And what if you can't figure out your own style? Then you should go back to the drawing board and get a new job. But for the most part, uh, paintings and stuff like that, um, I've had people come to me and ask me to do an Alan Padilla piece, and I'm like, you know what, just go with the original guy. He'll do it a lot better than I would, you know? <laughs> so, me. yeah, yeah, ex exactly, yeah. The only thing that bothers me is the client. Like, sometimes the client gets, uh, you know, they pay a lot of money or, like, fly somewhere to get an original piece, mm -hmm. and then, uh, See, seeing the same piece on somebody else is like defeats the purpose of so you like taking the time, you know, doing, doing the piece and everything. Never take it and then be like, tag someone's name, be like, yo, dude, check it out. I did this painting of yours, man. I just tattooed it. You know what I mean? How do you even know that guy wants that on someone's skin? You know what I mean? When you're just learning the basics, hell, like, all you really need to be doing is tracing fucking kanji and butterflies, learning how to do clean lines and solid fill. You don't need to be tracing custom shit. And when you're at that point, you'll be able to draw your own stuff. Like, and if it's not that creative, it's probably not the field for you. That's what Google's for. That's what realism's for. It's an unspoken thing everybody does. You know, um, the way I grew up is I always respect the artists with, that come out with the original artwork. Yeah. You know, and that's the way I see it is about respect. The new artists that are coming up, when they do seminars with me, they ask me, like, what's the secret to become a really good artist? I tell them, do not look at anybody else's work. That's the secret. Really? Yes, because the thing is that when you develop your own, it takes a longer, it's, it's not a shortcut, it takes a long time to develop it, but once you do, you create your own style, and nobody would ever seen that before, you know? I mean, there's certain people like on that Timmy B, on, um, who was Rember, yeah. You know, like his style is different, you know. And How many then? You can tell when it's his. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. You know, his colors are saturated and they bright and bold. You know, so everybody has their own little niche and to be influenced by it is cool, but it's still somebody artwork is wrong. Yeah. Stop stealing work. <laughs> and our second question is. I forgot what it was. What is it? Second question. It's your turn. The magic of editing. Yes. Oh, I remember. <clears throat> How do you feel about art? <laughs> Real professional. This is what you guys pay to do, right? I don't know how I have a job. I think it's up to the teachers to yeah, teach. When I started kids. tattooing, they would have broke your hands for that. Really? Yeah. Okay, focus, Timmy. Sorry. You focus. Sorry. <clears throat> how do you feel about <laughs> We're having such a good time. 